yo what's up what's up my people welcome back to this channel today's video we are making a bow tie loafers before we do that if you are just viewing for the first time please do where to like subscribe and turn on the post notification God bless you as you do. but before you go into today's video i've got something for you coming up in this coming month which is the month of june okay guys so let's get down to business we, yeah we are making like i said earlier we are making a both tie loafers we are making use of our sequence leather as we read and the, the bow tie loafers itself as we all know the first step if you are just joining you know, for the first time if you are just doing for the first time you can just go back to the to, to our recent videos to our, to our first four videos and see the process of how we, we, we arrive to this point Whether we, we place a pattern on our material on our leather we draw it out and we cut out we, we cut it out then after that we also cut our lining out and we bring it we begin to sew we begin to join up together then we added our gum after an added our gum we tape our material and that's that about that on that aspect so moving on to the next one Yeah, as you can see, as we all know the design I'm making, which is uh, a, a bow tie loafers, and signifies a cap. There, there is a cap on it. So this is our cap. We are we are sewing our cap. Then so we added gum to it, and we tape our cap together. We are taping it. We are taping it, as you can see. We are taping it. We added gum to it, and we tape it together. So move. We we, we also move to the next part.
Yeah, our butter is ready. We, we added gum, just a little bit gum to it so that it stay white so So we added gum to it and we show up together. So after some, we join our, uh, we added gum to the prepared space for our cup. So we done it together and we show it together. Then on to the next one, which is the lining aspect, whereby we place down our material on our line on on our line yeah i'm just saying this so that you know i won't have to keep uh stopping and stopping so you can use my uh, voice over to you know to follow the process so after this we we, we join our cap to our leather to the sequence and then we sew it again as you can see here now we sew it up after sewing up with the lining, we lining it together. So we added that line, we lining it together. We sew it also, we trim it out. Yeah, this is a, a small size, which is size 43, and that's nine, size nine, 43, size 43. You can call it size nine, and you can call it size 43. What we are doing here is we are trying to measure our our shoe and our our shoe our material on our last, so as not to make excess. So that's what we are doing here we are sizing our, our i i call it sizing and i uh, and you can also call it measuring our, our leather to our to our to our last so as to, to know the size you are making 
if there is upper fit on it or, or not, which is okay too. So. Our back is prepared already. Our back and the lining. After joining together, after sizing it, we sew up then. We added gum to it. Just you, as you can see where we added gum to it. We added gum to it, then we added our back together. We, we added our back to it and line. We, we then sew it up. After sewing up, we trim the necessary part and we have done. So on to the next one which is the lasting process. Loafers is so simple to make. So 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 very easy to make. All you just have to do is just to follow the process. When you have your 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 pattern being cut out already, your material is being well cut already, and you, know, you you then join it together, you join the necessary part, you join A plus B together to give you C, you join D plus C plus D together to give you, then you arrive at your your normal answer. So that's that's how it's done. And we, as we all know, we have our uh, our insole. We have it all prepared already. If you are just watching this video for the first time, you can just go back to our previous video, like I just said, just to um, just know the process of how we make, how we arrive at our insole. So that's that on that. Okay, after our uh, insole, we all need normal steps, which whereby we. We took our lining, our material for, for filing. We added gum to, to the file area, the file edge, and we also added gum to our So we knock it together with our last, which brings out the, the shape and size of the shoe and everything. So here is the lasting process. This is the main aspect of the shoe. This, this, this stage determines the size of the shoe. If the person is using for theory, or yeah, like I said earlier, the person the, the shoe is size for theory, so we are lasting size for theory. We are lasting size for theory here. Yeah. So if the person has a case, we have to eat or we have some lads that, that have a case eventually. Unless we need to add another okay for theory. So that that's how it works. So we, we we last it. This is the lasting process. It's so critical in, in the first time that you need to. Uh, there are some things you need to teach. Even you yourself, you, you, know, you just know that okay, this is where I need to stop. This is where I need to start. That's just how it works. So it's not as if uh, there is a magic in it. No. There is no magic in it. Just the normal thing and you know when it is balanced and when things cause you know it, it, it's a cap loafers it has cap on it so you always be careful of, of the cap so that it, it won't shift you to one side of the shoe so that's it so after 
after lasting while lasting still uh front stay process is also front stay knocking rather is also part of lasting process lasting stage so while lasting we added gum to it we, we knock our uh, front stay we added it to it we knock it together then we cover our shoe after we cover this after covering the shoe we we then size uh we will measure out the soap like it's done in every shoe it's only a uh, slide don't worry we are coming to to, to the slide aspect very soon but let, let's get perfect with, with this shoe aspect so after sizing our you know after measuring out our, our shoe which is uh we, we make sure it so that we know the area to to fight and to add gum shave you shave get so that's it so after filing we added gum and we also added gum to our soup it's a rubber so it gone so not the chemical so so we added gum to it and we arrived at our at our results just so simple to make just just follow the process everything nothing is hidden in this video in all of my video nothing is hidden if you've been in the business before you would know that no this are the normal step this is the normal step to take and for for you to just get your material get your things done and you, know, you are good to go Yeah, yeah, we have it. We, we covered our shoe, and we are good to go. Like I said, this is the uh, this is the measuring uh, the marking out stage whereby we we you know we mark out the area we are going to add gum because you can't add gum on this material like this unless you file it. So we, we file it and we add it gum to it and this also the soup. Over so you can see. Then we have our results. So concerning back to what I said earlier, concerning the the, the promo, the discount, the sales is coming up June first of June and it will end on the twelfth of June. So do it to participate. It's going to be uh, a big sales, twenty percent discount on all slides and twelve percent discount on 
working on Chelsea Boots, North Street, Lofaz, Jokes, Monk Strap, Debbie, Oxford, Plugs, Afshi. So it's going to be a massive. Do it to participate in it. Yeah, and as we all know, we give the best. Very durable, long lasting, and you know, a better quality. So, and also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm waiting for, for, our, for both of us, for, for our own benefit and for our own good. Thank you very much, guys. See you next video.